Up like the older dudes. Now we aging like fine wine. How we both do? Peep the shade on the timelines. This time post the cool. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's live stream. So we're gonna be cutting a trendy kind of we'll call it, I guess. I don't want to call it a men's haircut. We're going to call it a short haircut. Uh, and we're going to use razor, scissors, combs, clips, everything that we have at our disposal because today is a very exciting day. It's the biggest sale day that we have on our online store, Shop FSE. So if you guys are looking to upgrade your tools, um, then you should go check out shopfse.com. 30% off of scissors, uh, Mizutani scissors that are the most unbelievably awesome scissors that you can get uh, in the industry. So we got 30% off of those today and then also 50% off of my cutting system, the FSE cutting system um, that I launched earlier this year. A lot of you guys have bought it. Thank you so much for the support on that. But if you haven't got it yet and you're looking to up your haircutting game, then go check out Shop FSE and download the haircutting system. It's normally $50. Today, it's $25. So Really excited for you guys to get your eyeballs on that. And then also the tri razor, which we've talked about a million times, which is right here. The tri razor, which we launched last year at this time, um, is now instead of $44.95, is $29.95 today and it ships worldwide. So if you guys are watching from anywhere, I saw some of you guys from Brazil. I've seen uh, you guys from all over the place. Mexico, uh, we ship all over the place, even Alabama. Um, so if you guys are looking to pick up a tri razor, twenty nine ninety nine today. Um, this thing is interchangeable, so you can buy replacement blades for it as well. You put the blades in, you pop it back together, and you got a fresh set of sharp blades for your haircuts. And then you just pop the top back on like that, and you're ready to cut hair. Um, so during this live stream today, I'm going to be going over some of my favorite things that I cut hair with because I want to share that with you guys. But also, we're going to do hair cutting as well, so um, so that we're learning and getting educated on tools and doing it all at the same time. So if you guys have questions, type Q. Can you see our comments? Yes, I can. What's up? Jan, Jane? Jan? 
John. Um, let's see. Hello. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, if you guys have questions, type Q uh, and put them in the chat. That way I can see them easily. So just the letter Q and then your question. And then I'll know that you have a question and you're not just talking to each other, which I would encourage as much as possible. So the way that we're going to grow this room is do lots of commenting, do lots of sharing of the, the show on Facebook. We're also live on Minerva Beauty. Dot com's Facebook. So if you don't need tools, if you don't need like haircutting razors and cutting systems and all that, then uh, maybe you need furniture. And MinervaBeauty.com has some of the best furniture in the business. They furnish my entire salon. Uh, we're live on their Facebook today as well. So shout out to them. Uh, go to MinervaBeauty.com. I think they have up to 65% off of uh, their store today and 10% off store wide. So huge sales going on over there. Let me, uh, let me just talk to a few of you guys this morning. Australia, what's up? JoJo. Um, I'm watching you. Can't hear on my... Well, thanks for being here. Same here. Um, let's see. West Babylon, New York. What's up? What else we got in here? Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate it. I'm glad you read the comments. Yes, I do read the comments. Um, there's a lot of them. They're coming in from all the different platforms. So sometimes it's hard for me to see everybody's comments, but I try my best. Um, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see where we at. There we go. Yeah, it's good to be live. I haven't been live in a little while. Um, we've actually, full disclosure, had a lot of work done on our house, which is feel good about it. Um, excited about it and very lucky, but, uh, you know, it's just taken up a lot of time. So I've been trying to put out videos and, um, we've had other people live on here, but I haven't been live for a while and I'm excited to be back at it. Everything's getting back to normal. So I'll be on here a lot more. Um, hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Where are you from? I am from PA near Philadelphia, um, in the U S Jamaica. That's where I'd like to be. Uh, all right, cool. So I'm going to pop over. Do you have any salons in Ohio? I do not. Uh, I only have one salon, uh, and it's in PA, uh, which is close to Ohio sometimes, but we're on the other side of, uh, of the state. I like your work. Can you come to uh, your place and work for you? I wish. We are hiring. Um, looking for a barber. If uh, anybody out there is a barber and is near Philadelphia area, um, near New Hope, PA, really, um, let me know. What's up, Smell? Good to see you. An OG. If you're an OG, you've been watching these live streams for a long time, type OG in the chat. If you're new, you've never seen these live streams before, type new in the chat. Let's get to know each other. Uh, where in PA is your salon? It's in New Hope, PA. Um, but guys, just so you know, I do not take new clients. Um, so if you are not a hairdresser and you're wondering, um, I do not take new clients. Uh, you can find good hairdressers wherever you live. So you don't need to drive hours and hours. There's nothing that special. So I appreciate it. People come here, drive forever all the time. Um, but just so you guys know, you can find good hairdressers. I promise you, if you just put a little effort and look uh, Instagram is one of the best places. Find somebody that has your style, if it kind of fits it. You can follow them, look at their work. Um, there are definitely ways to find a good hairdresser. Um, cool. New in the chat. What's up, Beth? Talia? Lisa from Vermont. What's up? Pam's an OG. All right, cool. I know some of you guys are like, get to the haircut, get to the haircut. Just so you guys know, also, this is about us hanging out, having a good time. And if you like the shorter version of the cuts, the live stream is probably not for you um, because I'm going to take my time and I'm filming this and recording it. And then I cut it into a shorter video that I put up on our platforms later on. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're the best. Mizutani Black Friday deal. So let me talk about that first. And actually, I've got this little fun camera here um, that I'm going to pop to. Let me make sure it's at the right setting because I want to show you guys. 
brighten that up a little bit. Oh, okay, there we go. Mode, video. There we go. All right. So I'm going to pop to this camera real quick. Is that the one? Let me see. Nope. Usually this works, guys. Usually it does. I don't know why it's not working right now. Um, good old technology. Got to love it. All right, so uh, a few of my favorite Mizutani scissors. I want to talk about them today. These are like my three favorites. I'm going to be using them in the cut today. So the first one is obviously, um, this is the scissor that I designed. So let me uh, cover my face. There you go. So this one, a uh, few things that I like about it, and I want to kind of break down what I like about a scissor. It's all about the comfort in your hands. So if you're looking to get a Black Friday deal on Mizutani scissors, the 30% off, all you have to use is code BF, Black Friday, BF, 2021. Uh, put that at checkout in our online store and you guys will get that 30% off. Now, and we have righty, lefty, we have all, everything in there. This scissor I designed, I based it off a couple different ones. So this is actually sold out. It's been sold out. We might have it again for um, next year, but as of right now, we don't have it. But what I would tell you is I designed it around two different Mizutani scissors. The first one was, and it really was the Ichi Nino San number one. Uh, that is a great scissor. It's an all-around scissor, uh, dry cutting, wet cutting, precision, everything. Um, but mostly I get it for precision because I get this short blade. Now, um, those of you guys out there that, and I'm talking to professionals at this point, um, if, if you're a professional, you're looking for a scissor for precision cutting, the longer the blade gets, the weaker, not, it's not actually weak, but when you go to cut down, if the blade is further away, it just gets a little less power towards the tip. So when you have a longer scissor, sometimes that's good for like scissor over comb work, things like that. When you have a shorter scissor and you're only working just in that little bit and you're only cutting about half an inch at a time, that's gonna give you the most power, so the most precision, uh, the most accuracy in the line that you're cutting. So I like to use a shorter scissor. So any scissor that you look at, look at the handle, look at what you like about it, and then um, choose it from that point. So then when you get, the blade length has nothing to do with the size of your hand. A lot of people talk about that. Every single one of these handles on each size is the same handle. The blade is just longer for different reasons, like different uh, types of cutting. So it doesn't have to do like when I was in beauty school, they, they measured it to the palm of our hand, however they did that, and they fit us for our scissor, but that's not really, that doesn't really change anything because the handle is the handle and that's all you're holding in your hand anyways. So I like a shorter scissor for all my precision cuts. Then I personally like a dry cutting scissor. So this is the Mizutani Puffin. Um, you can see how fat the blade is here. Um, the fatter the blade, the more metal on the blade, the more power you get behind the scissor. So when you look at um, the difference, let me, it wants to focus on my hand. See the difference in the blades, how fat uh, this one is compared to the other. So dry cutting scissor. Now, the reason I like having a dry cutting scissor is because when I go into dry hair, it tends to dull my precision scissors a little bit. So it's obviously gonna be a little bit harsher when you go in and cut dry hair uh, with a blade. So I like to have my precision scissor where I kind of keep it as a wet cutting scissor. And then I have my dry cutting scissor, which is my Mizutani Puffin that I use for that. So these are the two, my go-tos for, for uh, wet and dry cutting. The next one is the Mizutani Type Z dual texture. There's a few different versions of this. They take out different percentages of hair. This is the, um, just the dual texture, I think Z3 possibly, I believe, or Z2, so, no, it's a Z3. Z3 or Z4, and it takes out, uh, it has 
teeth on both sides. So when you look at a traditional um, texture scissor, there is a, there we go. there's teeth on one side and a blade on the other. Now that's okay, and especially like with the Acroleaf Wide, which is this one, because it's got a dry cutting blade, so the hair glides a little bit more. If you want to have that kind of blend when you're doing like men's cuts, different things, you're working with fades, I love uh, the dual texture because you can actually see through it. Um, so when you go to cut, it doesn't pull or, or snag on anything because everything that it cuts, it's cutting, and the stuff that it doesn't cut just slides through because there's no blade uh, affecting it. So Mizutani Type Z Dual Texture Scissor, one of my favorites. Um, and then, and this is also nano powder metal steel. Uh, what that means is it's a different way of, of uh, putting the molecules together, the steel molecules. So in typical uh, Japanese steel, what happens is all the molecules kind of come together and they're all different shapes and sizes or a little bit bigger, smaller, um, and they kind of mesh them together and mash it together, right? So there's going to be inconsistencies in a blade. Now, that's not a bad thing. It's the typical scissor that you've always cut with. But when you use nano powder metal, it's actually put into a powder and then sealed together. So it's the same technology that they use to create, well, they used to create CDs, Blu-ray discs, things like that. And if you think about that, a laser is reading the information on that. So it can't have like that inconsistency. So it has to be smooth and perfect. So any scissor that you see on our website, the uh, DB20, the Mizutani Type Z2, um, the dual texture that I just showed you guys, all of those scissors are nano powder metal, which allow you to, um, they have that consistency. So when you cut, you feel the, the scissor actually consistently cutting each strand. So if you like that grip, that feeling of cutting a line and it's perfect, that's, uh, those are the go-to scissors for that. I know... This is a lot of information, and let me show you guys. Somebody's asking uh, how much the dry cutting scissor is. So let me go here and just show you guys. So a couple different things. Like, like I said, the hair cutting system, $24.99 instead of $49.99. The tri razor, $29.95 as opposed to $44.95. Uh, but let me show you guys. Cool is that? If you go to the search button on our site and you just type in like, uh, puffin, it will pull up the Mizutani Puffin. So when you go here, you're going to see the regular price. So it's normally $650, which is a, an investment for sure in your career, but you get 30% off today. Um, and this is the biggest sale. That, and honestly, they haven't even allowed me to do this for the last couple of years. And then this year, for some reason, um, they, they freed me up again and let me do it. So I'm excited to be able to offer this to you guys because uh, this is not a normal thing that they allow. So, um, so Mizutani Puffin, if you look it up, 650, take that 30% off, whatever that is, I'm not sure exactly, uh, but you do that at checkout. So it won't show that price right away. You just do it at checkout and, uh, and you'll be good to go. Uh, and you could do that with uh, all the Mizutani scissors on our website and do it until they, until they stop me. So do it as quick as you can before they take it away. All right, let's see, what do we got here? And thank you to everyone. I see a bunch of people uh, purchasing things, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support. Um, it's awesome that we get to offer this uh, on this weekend every year. I look forward to it because, you know, things are expensive in this industry, so being able to do some kind of large discount always makes me super happy uh, to do that with you guys. What scissors do I need for cutting hair? 650, that isn't bad. No, it's not bad. That's actually one of the cheaper uh, scissors, but honestly, one of my favorites. Um, it's about 200 bucks off. Cool, thanks. Michelle? I always like having a math buddy. I've always had a math buddy. Um, what scissors do I need for cutting hair? So I would just, the ones I talked about, those three, like if I was going to pick three scissors, I would pick the Mizutani Ichi Nino San number one or the Mizutani Type K which is, um, let me see if I can pull that one up. So it's a Mizutani Type K. This is honestly one of my all-time favorite scissors. Here it is. So this is the Type K, 800 bucks. 
Um, click it. Comes in all different sizes. I would get the five inch because that's me. Um, but you could get more of a standard five and a half, six inch. Um, so that's that's that. So the Acro Type K um, is a really good scissor. And then obviously the Mizutani Puffin, like I talked about, and then the Type Z Dual Texture is a really great go-to kind of ver really versatile texture scissor. Ah, Fiona, you're very welcome. Here's another thing, guys, that I would tell you. Um, those of you guys that are worldwide and looking to buy a scissor, um, unfortunately, we can only ship to the U.S. and Canada. But, and that's a Mizutani thing, so please complain to them about that, and maybe they'll let us sometime. Um, if you go, I don't know if I have that worldwide. There are ways to order worldwide from the U.S. to get. There's websites that allow you to get a U.S. address. They kind of handle the shipping for you. So there are ways around it if you really want to take advantage of the deals today. Um, all right. If I were to purchase one pair of basic shears for every day, what would you recommend? And guys, I know I'm answering a lot of questions. I'm going to cut hair, I promise. But um, this is kind of cool. That This is the difference between a tutorial and having me here live to be able to, you know, really answer your individual questions. So I know some of you guys, you know, want to see the, the haircut. I promise I will cut hair, but I like being able to, ha to have these conversations. Um, so if I were to purchase one pair of basic shears for every day, what would you recommend? So this is going to sound not basic, and I literally just added them to the website today, and I sent uh, a message to Mizutani right away because I was like, I have to try this scissor because I had never heard of it before. But people were like, you don't have the crossover scissor available. So I'm going to show you guys. I just added this to the website today. Um, it's a thousand bucks, but you get 30% off. So that's $300 off of this scissor. So you're only paying 700, which is still a lot, but it's for our career, for our investment. Look at the handle. That thing is super nice looking. Uh, it actually matches up perfectly to, um, to the handle that I have. It actually is offset even better in my opinion. So I'm super excited about this scissor. I have them sending me one. If it came in five inch, I would be fully sold. But if you're looking for an everyday all around, you know, righty lefty, I would do 5.7 inch, um, which is a great length. And I love this handle and how it's offset to the side. So you can slide your thumb right there. And then this just looks super comfortable. And the great thing about the crossover, this is what I like, um, has been created for both blunt as well as dry cutting. So that's why they call it the crossover. So you're going to get the best of both worlds. It's got a flat screw. This just this thing looks super nice. I'm very excited to have it in my hands. Um, but I sent them a message today, and I was like, I need one of these. F please send it. So they're sending me one. Uh, hopefully I'll have it next week as well. So um, Phoenix, if you need left-handed, we have left-handed. You just hit the lefty option on majority of those scissors. Um, it's FSE, it's shopfse.com. Let me put up the website for you guys right here. So all tools are available for purchase on our online store, Shop FSE. So it's shop, free salon education, fse.com. Um, sweet. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Opinion on the D19. So I, I've never had it in my personal um, collection, the D19, um, because I was always a DB20 fan. I think the D19 has a pretty comfortable handle, and I know one of my stylists, Brian, he has the swivel version of the D19. He loves it. Um, he actually sent it back to Japan to get sharpened um, for like the first time in a year or two, um, and it, it's just a super nice scissor. Um, but I can't tell you like how comfortable it is in the regular version because I've never really had it. But the D, DB20 is a, is a really nice scissor, and the D19, I just love the look of it. So I, you can't go wrong with a Mizutani. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, we've been work, I've been working with Mizutani since the beginning. Like, they were literally one of my first um, kind of partnerships in free salon education, and they started sending me scissors every single, like, month. I got a new scissor in the mail to try out, and they're – 
hand, like they're the only true that I can personally think of that are still hand making scissors in Japan. There are, I'm sure other, a few other companies, but it's very few and far between at this point. Um, which is why the price tag is what it is, but the quality, the lifetime warranty, everything is just, you can't beat it. So, um, you, you really cannot go wrong. I want to order the tri razor. Sweet. Tri razor is super fun guys. Like if you're looking for just a fun tool to add to your collection, cuts 50% of the hair, 25%, 100%. You have it all in one tool in your hand. Um, you can carry it in your pocket, bring it to, you know, your dinners, your family holiday dinners, pop it out, cut somebody's bangs. You know, it's, it's super fun. And it's only $29.99 or $95 right now. Um, I have the D19 and I love it. Awesome. Great testimonial. Do you always send your scissors to Japan to get sharpened? I recommend it. Um, I mean, Mizutani has a sharpener in the San Francisco area who does a great job. Um, but for, for us, I mean, as long as you don't mind being away from your scissors for an extended time, which could be 30... 45 days, um, you know, with shipping the way it is now and you trust the shipping, the system, right? <laughs> like that's the other thing. Um, so, um, you know, you just got to be careful. All right. I love everybody that's on here online right now. You guys are awesome. All right. So let's get to cutting hair. I need the tri razor too. Sweet. Fiona, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it very much. All right, guys, I'm going to cut some hair for a little bit uh, and walk you guys through this haircut. We're going to do a little bit like medium to short length um, short haircut. And then uh, we're going to do tri razor and then into scissors because tri razor works really well for cutting the sides, creating that kind of lived in uh, effect. And then we're going to go scissors on the top to get a little more precision uh, and shape in there as well. Um, and then we'll talk some more about other stuff. So we pop over. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. So Really wish I could get the uh, other camera here to work so I could show you guys something. Oh, that's why it's not working. Now it'll work. Ta-da! All right. Yes. Okay. So, a couple things. Let me just show you. Turn this down a little bit. All right, so the tri razor. Let me zoom in. So there's the tri razor. So you guys can see that. A couple of my favorite combs. So this one here, um, we don't have it on the site currently, but I'm working towards. Um, here, I'm just put it down. I'm working towards getting it back on there. I love this thing, but a wide tooth comb is kind of a go-to, and then. Mizutani 339, working to get that back on the site as well. We're just having issues with shipping and all of that with the combs and clips. But we did get our um, clips back in stock on uh, the Velcro clips. So if you guys are looking to pick up some of those Velcro clips for dry cutting, then we do have those available. All right. So let's section them off. So a couple key things here when I'm thinking about sectioning, and this goes into the, uh, the cutting system that we talked about. There's a whole entire uh, video dedicated to terminology and sectioning and understanding the head shape and all of that stuff. So um, that comes with the, the hair cutting system download. So I'll talk about some of that terminology now. And what I really look for, no matter who the person is, depending on how I want the hair cut to move, the weight to move within the cut, that's how I'm going to section it out. So I look at, right here we've got our first little 
bend, which is the parietal ridge, right? So let me zoom in a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll go right along the parietal ridge. And depending on if I'm trying to remove weight from this corner or allow weight to sit a little bit heavier, that's where I'm going to draw that line. So if I want to remove some of that weight, I'm going to go a little higher like I did. If I wanted to keep some weight, I'd go about an inch lower, and then that would allow me to just easily uh, keep that weight in there as well. So now I've got that sectioned out, and now we're going to work across that mid-crown area in the back here. Nice brows. <laughs> Michelle. So man, it can have some nice brows. Oh yeah, they're thick. Thick and drawn on. Those are, those are intense. Nice. All right. I think hairdressers are just very visual people. So somehow I'm not though. I don't really know <laughs> how that happened. What cut are we doing today? We're doing a short... Um, slightly disconnected top uh, with the nice open sides. So we're going to open up the face. I'm going to cut some of the sides back nice and blended. And then we're going to have this top kind of disconnected and slicked back a little bit throughout it. Or they could even wear it forward if they really wanted to as well. Um, we're going to create a versatile top. Let's call it that. So I clip that up in a way. Balance it as much as possible on the sides. Thank you, Fiona. I appreciate it. Um, did you see the news out of... No, I did not. Jessica, what news are we talking about? Hopefully good news. Um, all right. So we go across ridge, back up across mid-crown, and then back across parietal ridge, creating this nice U-shape section on the top. Show it to you just like that. So right around the top there. Now, that's pretty much the only sectioning we need to accomplish this cut. Sometimes it's not about overcomplicating things when you're cutting hair. Sometimes it's about simplifying them. When you think about cutting hair in the salon, for me, it's about how quickly I can get my job done in the most effective way. So when you look at... Um, being successful behind the chair. Some people, that means different things. For me, it was about efficiency of my time. And how can I, and obviously I'm talking a lot and I'm not getting my job done, but um, there's other parts to my job, right? But, the, um, but in, behind the chair, I can do a lot of things while, my, while I'm sectioning. I can do my consultation. I can really start thinking out my process. All of that I can do while the client comes in, sits down. I can get right to work. And then if I can do this in the fewest sections possible, then I can get that person in and out, still give them an experience, and then get the next person in the chair to allow me to make more money, right? Because that's, I mean, we're working to try to make more money most of the time. That's the goal. So, you can literally give yourself a raise if you make your time more efficient and you rebook people and get them to come back in sooner, right? So that's what a lot of people don't realize is that literally if I let somebody leave the door and they don't rebook with me to come back in within, let's say, in their head, they want to come in in six weeks and that's what they would normally do. If I get them to come in in five weeks, I've given myself a raise, that makes sense? In five weeks, I'm maintaining their haircut, not recreating it. In three weeks, I'm maintaining their haircut, not recreating it. And that's what I tell my guests all the time. It's like, you know, they say, when should I come back? I give them two options. One is recreating their haircut, and the other option is, um, is maintaining it. And most people want to maintain their cut. They don't want to look different. They don't want you to have to recreate it. And if you're maintaining somebody's haircut, you're actually... Um, getting it done quicker because you don't have to recreate it. Does that make sense? You could even price that differently if you wanted to in the salon. For me, I don't think I need to. I think maintaining it is the 
expectation. I don't want you to come back in so I have to recreate your haircut. I want you to like this style so much you want to look like that all the time and keep coming in. That makes sense? So efficiency is the number one thing in my head. Now, people like a change sometimes though. Yes. So let's talk about that for a second and then I'll cut. People do like change which is totally cool. So that's all in my conversation with them. If they want to start changing into something else, then that's when we will push their, their visit a little bit further or a little bit differently um, because it's all in the plan. The problem is when we don't have a plan, we just let people leave and they come back when they're ready, then that's not, you're, you're not being efficient. So that's, that's the goal is to just be efficient, have a plan and keep that pattern going so that that way your client has the hair that they are looking for. You should always offer change as well. Change is good, um, but you know if you give somebody a new look, they're not going to want to change it probably for a few visits, and then at that point, then maybe change it with the season or something like that. Awesome, Gina. Very cool. All right, so if you start doing lives again, can you do a hockey haircut? Honestly, Smo, we are kind of going to do a hockey haircut a little bit today. It's going to have that feel to it. I mean, I'm assuming. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, cool. If you can answer, I'm new to cutting women's hair, so how can you balance damages in the occipital bone area but still leave length around the nape and crown? So Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Joy, um, that's a complicated question because I don't, I don't really know why do they have damages in the occipital bone area but still leave length around the nape. Like, is it all damaged from occipital bone down, or is it, and is it damaged at the root? Is it damaged mid shaft to ends? Like, there's a lot more in that question. Maybe if you're more specific with the question, I can help you out a little bit better. Um, all right, cool. More graduation cut, please. All right, Janice. We'll see if we can throw some of that in there. Uh, Pre-booking is where it's at. That's right. If you guys are like me, I mean, pre-booking to me is kind of, it just needs to happen because my schedule, I like to keep very, you know, tight. Um, so it's the best way to be efficient. Um, all right, here we go. So I comb the hair back. There is one spray that I really love using when I'm cutting with a tri razor. Let's see if it's here. Actually, where's it at? So I love this product here. It's vegan for all those of you guys out there. Um, there we go. It's a leave-in everyday treatment. I actually just like to uh, see if I can get the pump here. So it's like a little bit lotiony type product. I put that through the hair, um, and it just gives a little extra slip. And it's also a great cutting lotion for allowing me to have a little bit cleaner sections. So, Clean Beauty by Paul Mitchell for clean sections as we go through it. All right, Phoenix is saying it's the ends. So, I mean, you could always cut some concave layers, which maybe we'll talk about that as we go through it. All right, so I'm going to start working diagonal back throughout this section. Love using cutting lotion. Yeah, for sure. Cutting lotion is the best because it just allows you to have clean sections. And when I push this back, it kind of helps hold it a little bit better. And then I don't have to use a ton of clips in the hair, which just takes up more time. So obviously clips are very important to successful hair cutting, but you don't always have to have clips. So here we go. Hold the hair out from the head just like this. And then I take the tri-razor 
uh, the 100% cutting edge, and I just slide through just like that and work my length. Now, when I cut the hair like that, what happens is it pushes a little extra length to the bottom. And the reason it pushes that extra length is because I lose tension right inside my fingers right here. So um, that's okay as long as you're aware that that's happening. And I actually like for the end result of this style because I want, as I work through the hair, to have a fringier edge around the haircut. If I wanted it to be nice and tight, I would just take this section up again and I would just work this part into my fingers where I have more tension and then slide through and cut. I don't want to cut that off. But if I did want to, that's how I would do it. Now, we talk about open shape. If you download my FSE cutting system, um, you'll understand this a little bit better. But how it works is, do I want to open up the face? And this works for long hair, short hair, whatever. Um, or do I want to close off the face? If I wanted to close off the face, then I would pull the hair out diagonal forward. And I would slide the razor this way which would then in turn leave extra length and heaviness towards the face this way um, and leave a little extra length towards it. So that would be if he wanted to wear or she wanted to wear the hair forward. If they want to wear the hair back, then I cut it diagonal back and that's opening up the face. So that allows the shape horizontally in this cut to flow back off of the face, okay? If you want to understand that further, download the FSE cutting system Again, half off today, you get eight haircuts, um, terminology video, welcome video, PDF book with all that stuff, a certificate to hang in your salon uh, of completion, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so, and again, it's $24.99 right now, which is a crazy good offer. All right, so now I hold the hair up. My guide is coming from underneath. Take the tri razor. And I slide it through and remove some length. So just like that, we're getting nice short hair. If you stop, you get a mullet. If you keep going, you get something else. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, sorry, Matt, taking the granddaughter shopping. Catch you, I hope, on the video. For sure, Beth. Have a great day with your granddaughter. That's awesome. All right. Appreciate everyone hanging out with me. Okay, so now continue, comb it back, just like that. Now, I'm combing this hair forward, but I want the flow to be back. So what I'm doing is, once I get that section in my hand, now I scoop some of that old hair so I can see it through my section, and then I come straight off of where, off of the head, from where that section wants to live, or that section lives. I come through there, and now I just need to continue through the bottom of this haircut. My fingers are starting to mimic the head shape, going back a little bit. I just slide and glide through. Again, I wanna keep a little extra length on the bottom, so I'm totally cool with that. We'll just continue the process. Diagonal back. Scoop. Bring the hair up from where it lives. Slide through it. Same thing here. And the greatest thing about razor cutting is that you get kind of a condensed feel, or you do get a condensed feel. Cond I'm taking a bunch of hair and pulling it together, cutting it. Why does condensed cutting work so much better with a razor as opposed to scissors? Well, when I cut with a razor, I get a very soft edge. You can see that that's not a perfectly blunt straight line. If I cut that with scissors, there would be no ups and downs in it. Now, up, up and down, uh, hair creates softness, creates texture. Um, so if you think about it in this way, if I went through cut it blunt with a scissor, then I'd have to go through after that and come through and point cut it. If, I, if I'm doing all that work, it just takes extra time. So my goal, and is to not take extra time. Come through here, use the most efficient tool that I have in my toolbox, and cut the hair. Again, scoop up the hair. Slide through. 
And I'm just continuing to work across the back, diagonal back, all the way through it. Bringing that hair out from where it lives, sliding through, gliding the hair. So look at that. We already cut that whole side. That literally took five seconds. I talked a lot or it would have been even faster. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side here. Come around. I want to continue having my hand um, pointing up because I want to have that same tension on the bottom. So I'm mimicking everything that I did on the opposite side. You could just continue coming around and it would be the same thing as well. Um, that's up to you. If you're honestly, I'm going to do that to, to not cause confusion with you guys on the guideline, right? Because I know at the end, some of you guys are going to be like, well, how do you, how do you match up the links on the sides? So what I'll do is I'll just continue working. Around. So just like this, bring the hair out, comb that hair towards me sliding through so now i'm going to shift the hair to now be uh starting to work diagonal back this way so i came around came around and now i just take a pivot shift it and that pivot is fine because in my head let me see if i go to the overhead it'll be easier for you guys so i come around Diagonal back like this. So when I come to this point and I stop and I pivot, what's going to happen? Now I'm bringing this hair over to me. I was bringing this hair over to me. So it's a pinch in the middle. And what is that pinch going to do? It's going to create a little extra length here. In the crown area is fine. You actually could use that extra length. It'll help um, kind of facilitate the shape of the head. So I'm going to go diagonal back. Here, bring in a little of that extra hair, bring it out, slide through. There we go. Continuing. Forget I'm not in your guys' way because I'm overhead. Oh, also, if you guys are looking for some new hats and stuff to wear, look at that hat with a clipper and a heartbeat. Pretty sweet, right? I got hoodies and shirts. That stuff's not on sale because they ripped me off, and I can't. <laughs> I'd put it on sale if, I, if they didn't rip me off already. I don't really make any money off the shirts. But they're fun. There you go. Working through, working through. Just going to go through the back a little bit. Got some nice length through the back. You go to the front. There you go. I do want to take just a little bit of this length. All right. And now I'm going to connect the bottom. This mole, it's like alive. It's like, it's like breathing. All right, so here's another cool thing that you can do with the tri-razor. So now we got this tail. 
We'll call it a tail. Um, Because it has feelings for sure. And what are we going to do with that? How can we cut into it to kind of keep it back there, but keep it soft? So I can go in the texture 50 uh, edge of the tri razor, hold it here, and then I just kind of come in and I use the texture 50 so that I don't cut a blue line right away. And then I can always go in and just take off pieces. But the texture 50 side only cut 50% of that tail and so it softens it first prior to you actually just cutting off these little pieces then you can see kind of that length that you get to create throughout the haircut we'll do the same thing here we'll comb this hair down and this is great anybody that has shorter hair that you're just trying to create a little texture you can even use the 25 uh, edge of it and just come in here and cut 25 so you remove some of the hair and then go in and take the length so then that way you get a nice shattered edge so that would be the equivalent of doing something like this if i have my scissor so Instead of going in and doing something like this, where you're half cutting into it, you know, and then working your edge, it's basically the same thought process. You're just going, cutting into it. So then I just take a look at the shape, you know, and I just go in and remove some of the pieces and just have some fun with it because when you've got somebody that has a little extra, you know, length in the back and that you want that texture through it, um, you can just go in and play around with the, the weight and all that. All right. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to blow dry some of this back off the face. Also have 30% off Ergo round brushes, to, or paddle brush, a few, few different round brushes um, on our shop as well today. Use the code BF, Black Friday, BF2021 at checkout. All right, so I blow dry this back off the face. Both sides. Imagine all those people that come in that have that long hair. They have no idea what they want to do with it. And they're really like on the edge of a cool style, but they just need a little texture, a little bit of movement. That's the greatest thing about the tri razor is you can just go in and remove that weight and uh, make it happen that way. Then... You can take your trimmer if you want to cut around the edges or go scissor, which is what I'm going to do. And I can cut up and around actually deciding I want to take this a little shorter. Changing my mind. It's the greatest thing about a mind is that you can change it. Uh, all right here we go taking it nice a little bit tighter nothing crazy but just changes up makes it a little more professional I guess you could call it whatever professional is just tightens it up around the edge and you could honestly do that with the tri razor but I was thinking I was going to keep it a little. A 
little longer, but changed my mind. All right, so now I let down this top here. We comb that back off the face, and you're going to see where now it just kind of pops, starts coming to life. But this we got to cut into just a little bit, especially to blend it around the back. But you can see how it'll start to tie in. So the way we're going to do this, comb it back off the face. So sh Shoka, maybe? Um, this is a Dyson blow dryer. I don't know. Uh, we don't sell these. Dyson doesn't let anybody sell these. But I don't like using something I, I don't normally use, and I do use that blow dryer. So, um, so there we go. Let me see. Let me go over top. I like it just like that. Stop. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I'm going to pretty much stop, but I want to show you guys. It got to blend it a little bit. You don't even have to blend it. It's just really obnoxious right now. So take a little bit. So comb some of that front section forward. I got this whole crown area here. I can bring this up horizontally and connect it with the back section. So I'm going to do a little bit of point cutting. Show you from this angle. Take this section, comb it. I'll take a little bit of the underneath as a guide. Comb it up. And then here is where I'll point cut. So right here, and I just point cut through. So you guys kind of get that angle. It's here. I know, black jacket, got it. Um, so it's here. Now let me go forward a little bit. Yeah, professionals do get the Dyson dryer. And to be fully honest, I got mine for free. Because I did do a video with them once. They sent it to me for free. But they're expensive. And as a professional, just like my scissors, my combs, like everything I spend extra money on because I use it to make money, you know, that's up to you if you want to uh, use it like in your house or something, I don't know. So I'm bringing everything back to this point. So instead of following the head shape and cutting this short in the front, um, I'm taking horizontal sections across the head, bringing it back, over-directing it all the way back here. So see how far I'm bringing it now? Before I was bringing it from this point up, that's short, this longer. So as it gets further away and I'm pulling it, it's getting longer. What kind of shape is that creating in the head? That's creating a closed effect. So if you look at how I'm bringing this back, when I cut it at this point with everything else and it releases, it gets short to long. So short to long in the front. Because it's short to long, I guess it would be more like this, short to long. Because it's short to long, it'll fall heavy in the face. It'll close off the face. So it's a closed shape on this cut. I'm also disconnecting it from the side. So this side is shorter than this piece is longer. Point cutting creates a soft edge. Could I do that with the tri razor as well? Yes. I could definitely bring it back here, cut it with a tri razor. When I get done with that, I can go through with the tri razor and I can take out some weight or create some texture. So. Smell, I don't know that one, the Gamma IQ. To look into it. So here, I grab the hair, got my 25 texture. I come in here, mid shaft to ends, cut through, 
takes out 25%, and I get a nice little bounce of lightness in the hair. Take another section, bring it back, cut 25 mid shaft to ends, remove some of that length and weight. All right, so now, thank you, Fiona. All right, just like go through, blow dry, give them a little height. So I smooth it back a little bit, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of Paul Mitchell Mitch. We will focus. So funny how this camera, when it focuses, it's so good, and when it doesn't, it's so not good. I'll do it by myself. There you go. Barber's Classic. Look, now I won't focus on him. You have one job. You're a camera. Actually, it's probably doing more than one, one job. But. That's its most important job. All right. A little bit of Barber's Classic. It's got a nice um, shine to it. Give you kind of a wet look, but this is the uh, one thing I tell all of my guests that are going to wear their hair in this way is to blow dry at least 80% dry because that will allow the product to do its job. If you don't blow dry enough then uh, and you put it in wet hair, the products are meant to break down with water. They're water soluble because you want to be able to clean them out of your hair, right? But if you can't, I don't know, I'm rambling, but if you take them and put them in your wet hair, they're going to break down and then you're not going to have the effect of the product throughout the day. So he can tuck or she, tuck the hair, do the same thing on this side, tuck. This is like my idea of hockey hair or really people's hair now because a lot of people wear this cut like this. A lot of uh, people coming in requesting this length. And it's super fun and easy to do. I love keeping that extra length in the back. Just cool. Tons of texture in there. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the uh, in the comments. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's pretty focused. So, what do you guys think? Cool, nice length, fun. I dig it. 
Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, so let's go back here. Let me uh, answer any of your questions that you have on this wonderful Black Friday day. Um, and I want to give a shout out to a few people that have purchased some things because you guys are just awesome. Um, sweet. I just got word that my crossover scissor is shipping on Monday. That's very exciting. Um, let me see. Who do we got? I want to give some shout outs to you guys. All orders. I get an alert on my phone and my watch every time you guys purchase something. So, um, shout out to Michaela, Julia, Diane, Candice, Ariel, Nik Nikia, Angela, Linda, Nikki, Denise, looks like Denise picked up a uh, scissor or two. Um, Phoebe picked up a scissor or two. Marlene, Nicole, Linda, Angela, all of you guys, awesome. Brittany, Kim, appreciate all of you um, for, for the support, really. Um, you know, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you were celebrating that yesterday. And uh, wherever you're at in the world, if you don't even know what Black Friday is, it's like the deal weekend that we have, um, and you guys get it as well. So um, if you can't buy the scissors, I apologize, but if you, you want to get the tri-razor or the cutting system, all that stuff is definitely available. I do want to share with you guys the cutting system real quick, so let me pop up. Um, you guys can see what it's all about. I got this little promo video. So I'll be right back. I'll answer more of your questions. Type them in the chat. Uh, this is a really quick video. I just want to show you guys what the cutting system is all about. You can pick it up on our online store, Shop FSE. There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm going to teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair. So there's the cutting system, guys. So if you're looking to, you know, better yourself in hair cutting, I really would recommend it. Put a lot of time and effort into creating that system. It's a PDF book. Um, so it has all the terminology spelled out for you guys. So that really, like, as I teach these haircuts online, we're all speaking the same language at that, at that point. And I tried to make things as simple as possible. I feel like when people put out cutting systems, they try to overcomplicate it um, and Haircutting doesn't have to be complicating. So the eight haircuts are there for you to practice and learn, but it really, this cutting system allows you to, I think, create any basic thought process of a haircut. So um, you can combine the different techniques into whatever haircut you want to do. So, you know, there's a basic, a couple basic bobs, one lengths, um, you know, layers, and they're all pretty trendy cuts. Like they're not like, your beauty school haircuts, in my opinion. So they're all usable. Um, you get a certificate to hang in your salon um, or your office or whatever and uh, of completion. Um, and you could download the book. It's in two different versions. You can print it or download it. Um, and then you have all the haircuts and all that stuff. So it's normally 50 bucks, but today, 25 bucks. Um, so I'm hoping all of you guys will get it this weekend because, you know, it's half off and good all right um so let me see what's all the money awesome cool all right guys well thank you so much for being a part of the live stream today i hope you guys enjoyed the haircut enjoy your friday and i'll see you guys on the next uh live stream thanks so much for watching
to fight. 